Welcome to Specific Love. This is the 26th edition of 10 Life Hacks with PVC. But this is a special edition, because not only am I going to show you some really cool ideas, I'm going to show you how to get a discount on some of these products. Let's begin. Now let's say you're working with a long piece of PVC on some type of structure. For example, let's say a greenhouse that arches up and down. Now if you were to try and add some support to the top, say like a backbone to it, and you cut to the top, that's going to spring apart, and you'll probably never get that back together. Now here is what they call a slip cross. You slide it over one end, you put it in a position that you would like, and then you can add the pieces of pipe that you want. The great thing about it, it spins around and it moves around, so that way you have a little additional movement in case the wind tries to pick it up and blow it. At least that way you don't have to worry about something snapping. Now here's another great idea. If you take another piece of PVC and you slide it on, this would be great for kids. You can hook up some string and some plates and show them how measurement works. Or even better, add an end cap, set this up, and now you have a propeller and you can make them a plane. So that's a great idea to use with a slip cross. Now this next product is a really cool idea and I'm surprised nobody has actually come up with it until this company did. Now if you have two pipes that cross, say you're building a large structure and they can rub back and forth, you can always get a T, but that requires you to cut and glue and it can be kind of a pain. But if you just want to do something quick, this is what they call a snap cross. Now this is one of their snap clamps that they've attached to a second one that now they've put so they can easily attach two different pipes. The best part about it is it moves. So if you're setting something up and you want to attach it together but you have to change it just a little bit, you can. Now this is a one inch version. Here is a half inch version and they have a few other sizes as well. But this is a great idea if you're trying to build something large and you're going to have some pipes that are going to cross each other. So you can put these together and you can, they're real easy. They just take and you just snap them right on exactly where you want them and you can move them. So make sure you check these out. Now let's say you want to put a curtain or a sign over an existing rope or cable that runs through your yard. Now you can just put it up and the wind's going to blow and eventually it's going to fall off. That is, unless you use this. This is called a cable clamp. This fits right over the existing cable or rope that is currently in your yard. It holds down whatever you need. In this case it's just a shirt, but I can yank on this and it is not coming loose. Now these clamps come in a variety of sizes, so whatever size you need to fit over the cable that you need. And to remove it is very simple, just peel it up, you can easily remove whatever you have. Now this next piece is called a snap frame. This right here attaches straight to your PVC, just snaps right over, but it has a nice groove here. And when using that groove, you can create a full frame. That way you can put up, in this case, I'm just using some pegboard, but you can use a sign or whatever you'd like. It makes a great temporary signage, and you can put this, I have some T's at the bottom, and I can go ahead and put this on some stands, and put this out for display, or if I could hang this up on a wall, whatever you need. It makes a great little framing structure for whatever kind of sign you have. Now if you had a PVC structure up for a while, you know that over time there's a chance, especially in the long spans, for it to warp a little bit. Well, what's the common way to fix it? You go get you a T, you very carefully cut it, measure it all out, pull these apart, make sure you have it just right, put the cement in place, wait for it to dry. It, it can work, but it can be an ordeal. That is now, unless you use, they call a side saddle T. Now all this does is easily sit on top of another piece of PVC, and then it clamps onto the existing pipe. For example, let's say this right here is your structure, you clamp it right over, and now that span that is slightly warped, all you have to do is adjust the length of your support bar, and you can easily give it a lot more support. Next up is what is referred to as a table cap. Now this is a two inch version, which accepts the two inch pipe, but it has three spots that you can put screws in, which will allow you to attach it to stuff. Then you can attach a two inch pipe and you can make this a stand or you can make this maybe a pole or whatever you'd like. 
Now if you take two of these and attach them each to its own independent piece of wood, put your pipe in between, there you go. Nice lightweight table stand. Now this is what you call a snap tab. It has a flat back surface and a nice clamp right there in the middle. That makes it real easy that you can attach it to your PVC or your structure or whatever you've built and it just holds nice and tight. The great thing about this is that you can put maybe a sign or maybe it's over a window. You put like a cover to a window to protect it. Or in the case here, I just attached a piece of wood that way you can put your little sign on there or attach this just for looks. I also found another great usage for me. Now, since I do a bunch of stuff with PVC, if you attach one of these to your door, to your wall, you can then take your PVC structure, snap it in place, and it'll stay right there for every one of you. Now here's a really cool product. This is an internal coupling. Now yes, they do sell external couplings and if you're trying to combine two pieces of PVC, but it's going to be nice and bulky and it just isn't going to look all that pretty. Let's say you wanted something that leaves a little more, well, incognito. If you get one of these internal couplings, you can slide it in one side and slide it in the other. Now as long as your cut here on your PVC is nice and smooth, it's going to be a real pretty fit. The best thing about it is if you look there, it is nice and smooth and you don't really see it. So if you're trying to do maybe an art project or maybe you're doing a long span, you're just trying to connect some nice PVC together and just keep a nice smooth look appearance to it, that is a great way to use one of these internal couplings. And though this is the one inch size, I also have it here in half inch size and you can do the same. Again, nice and smooth, you don't have to see it, but it does hold it together nicely. Now if you've ever tried to use plastic or tarp to drape over a large object, whether you're just trying to protect it or just trying to cut down on some of the wind, it can be challenging because this is constantly blowing and blowing and you're fighting it. Well, if you take some PVC pipe and you roll up over it and secure it to it, now you can have a nice secure pull over a long stretch. Well, here's one step better. These are little hooks that you can use to pull the PVC. Now, one of them has just a secondary hook to attach a rope, and this one has an actual carabiner. In either case, you just snap them on, and it's a tight fit so that it stays secure. One on one side, one on the other, or you can use these independently, it's your choice. But now, you can roll up your tarp or your plastic, and you have a great way to pull these. So you know you have a secure pull on each side. This also works great if you're trying to secure your tarp to the ground. Put these hooks on and now you can attach a rope to each side and it'll securely hold it down. If you've made a large structure with PVC, maybe like a greenhouse or something along those effects, it's always a good idea to have some kind of a door so you can get in and get out pretty easily. But with your standard PVC, you're kind of limited. I mean, I guess you could tape it together, but that's not going to last. That is, until now. These are called snap hinges. They fit right over your frame and your door. Snapping real securely together. It's made out of aluminum, so it should last a long time. And now, you can easily pivot that door and have that security you need with easy access. Now most of the products you've seen in this video come from a company called Circo Innovations. They make a bunch of cool specialty type PVC and PVC related type products that make your builds and projects much simpler and easier. Now I've worked out a deal with them to get you a discount of 10% on your first purchase in the next 90 days. Now the odds and chances of specialty type PVC products actually having a discount is very rare. So make sure you take advantage of this. Now I'll put a link to their website and other information needed in the description below so make sure you check it out and take advantage of this opportunity. Now if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, tell us what you think about it in the comments, and as always, have fun building.